Hello, this video will walk you through how to report trainings that have been completed. I am currently logged in as a district GLT coordinator. These same steps can be followed for a multiple district GLT coordinator. On the home page, select the Learn option from the top nav bar. Then select Manage Trainings. The list view will provide you with the trainings that you've created. To look for trainings that are ready to report, you can use the status filter on the left of the page. The statuses can be marked and unmarked as needed. Once you have selected the ready to report option, note that the list has changed accordingly. You can also narrow down the list by further using the date, date range option if needed. Once you find the training that you'd like to report, select the training ID blue link located at the start of the row to open the training. The training has three tabs, details, faculty list, and participant list. Select the faculty list and Begin adding the individuals responsible for training. Select the blue Manage Faculty button in the top right. You can add a non-member faculty by selecting the Add Non-Member Faculty button and entering a first and a last name, and then selecting Add Faculty. If you are searching for a lion, you can search for last name, first name, member ID, or club name. I will search for the club name. Make sure that the what you type is an exact match. Once you've typed the information, hit enter. Notice that the search found 43 club members. To select the individuals as participants, you will need to select the plus button at the end of the row for the person. If you select someone, they will show in the assigned section to the right, and the plus button will be grayed out so that you cannot uh, select them again. You can also expand the number of individuals that you see on the screen by selecting how many records per page you'd like to see. You could also page through the list using the arrow next to the page count. If you need to remove the person, you can simply select the trash can button and they will be removed. Continue this process until you have assigned the faculty for this training. When completed, click the Save button on the top right of the page. You will receive a green success message letting you know that your progress has been saved. When you are done adding faculty, close the window. Now, to continue um, editing the faculty, you would need to select Manage Faculty again, and it'll take you back in, and you can continue. To uh, add participants, select the Participant List tab. Notice you have two buttons available, Manage Participants and Import Participants. In this video, we are going to focus on the Manage Participants. This will be the same experience as the process we just saw for managing faculty. Notice there is a search bar, very similar to what we saw before, and we can enter the club name, member name, or member ID. Now you can select your people to add for the training. Once you are completed adding your 
participants click Save. You will receive a green toast again, and the message tells you that you successfully added your participants. If you have a large number of participants, you can use the Import Participants feature. This feature allows you to upload an Excel file of participants, so you do not have to individually select them using the process we just completed. If you want to use the Import Participants option, you must use the Download Template button to ensure you create a list in this exact format. Once the template is downloaded, you can fill in the three pieces of information required to upload. It is critical that the information is entered exactly as it appears in the system, or it will not match the members that you are trying to load. And then you will need to go through a process to fix the data and reload the list accordingly. You must be comfortable uploading files and using the process file feature in order to complete a participant list using this feature. After you've completed both the faculty and the participants list, you are now ready to report the training. Select the training details tab and then click the mark completed button. The system will provide you an opportunity to review the training name and dates. Select OK when ready to report. You will see a green confirmation toast at the top of the page, and you can navigate back to the Manage Trainings and filter for reported trainings to see the result. This video is now complete. Thank you for taking the time to review the video.